Scarcity of clean and safe water for drinking, agriculture and fish farming continues to be a major hindrance in the growth of Kenya's economy but also plays a big role in the health and social livelihoods of its citizens. The most affected are women and children with scenes like these ever more so regular. Most of the water available is either dangerously unsanitary or too salty and Water Kiosk Limited have been trying to find affordable and sustainable solutions to some of these problems. The realization that there is a lot of water that is not fit for human consumption and the accessibility of that water as well uh, is what actually was a driving factor. Between us as co-founders, we thought that we need to do something uh, on that line. The other challenge that we had to address was the issue of power. We know that uh, energy is a requirement for any treatment process. So we thought of how can we address uh, and uh, reduce this challenge of power, mitigate the challenge of power, at the same time make water more accessible to people. So we came up with uh, this technology of solar water desalination, which uh, runs 100% on solar. Uh, from the first process to the last process. This machine tried to tackle three problems and bringing the machine with three characteristics. First, the problem of electricity consumption of desalinations, which is extremely high. This machine is running fully on solar energy, just in solar energy. Even there is no battery bank, pressure storage, anything. It's just direct sun radiation to the machine. So imagine cloud comes and still the machine is working even if when there is no battery. Second, the machine is simple. Those who are in these industries, they can see the simplicity in the machine. I can tell you the simplicity in one way. A wrench and a screwdriver, these two tools, with a normal plumber, the simplest plumber in a village, you can do over 80% of the maintenance of this machine. Water kiosk and its German affiliate Boreal Light has currently installed 34 water kiosks in what were otherwise salty water boreholes that did not serve the purpose they were intended to. But how does the system work? It receives water from the borehole. It goes through filtration processes. Through this feed pump, we are having water coming into the sun filter, to the carbon filter, and then to the micro filter again. Uh, then there's a UV uh, sterilization. Uh, to make sure that the water going to the membrane is free of any growth of algae. Then at high pressure, water is pushed through membranes. And this is where the separation of salts takes place. You end up with two types of water, the saline water and the fresh uh, water. The other thing that we do as water kiosk, we add a remineralization chamber where we are adding useful minerals to our water. So water becomes more useful, more beneficial to our bodies before uh, our clients can be able to access it. So from here, water goes to a storage tank up here, and then now from the storage tank, it comes through another UV, uh, making sure that we are getting a clean, sterilized drinking water. Then we're having the dispensing point where our clients are able to get uh, clean and hygiene drinking water. The system's design uses ultraviolet light in the water purification process instead of chlorine, and thus making waste water safe for irrigation and fish farming. By that, we are creating employment for those communities. Every kiosk is actually employing two uh, locals from that region, from particular where we go to. And then when you introduce these farming activities and fish farming, we are employ another two. So you see these add-ons are also you know, improving uh, in terms of employment opportunities, in terms of getting some foods is, is, uh, for fish, we get some proteins for these people, and uh, you know, a source of income. Tunashukuru katika huu mradi kwa sababu tulikuwa tunateseka na maji ya kunywa maji yote hapa ni ya chumvi lakini sasa hii mashini tengenezwe hapa tunakunywa maji fresh tena yaliotibiwa the lack of clean and safe drinking water in Kenya is a very serious problem as there are more than 1.6 million children under the age of 5 who die every year in the world. This equates to the death of a child every 19 seconds.